everyone, it's Nicole, and I have another layout using the Spencer's kit for April kit for Studio Calico, and I had three add-ons, and one of them was the Project Life. And I am down to my scraps, and I hadn't used that background uh, paper pattern paper, and the other side is all cut apart. And one of the sheets, I took it and cut it all apart, and I kind of forgot about it, so. It was kind of sitting in my stash so I didn't get a chance to use it but I did cut it apart and I'm just going to keep it with my stuff so that I'm going to you know use it for the rest of this month and then also next month and I cut some strips down of each pattern paper that were in the kit and some of them are at three quarters of an inch to an inch an inch and a quarter and there's even some that are a quarter of an inch and I'm just putting the strips diagonally. It's not ex necessarily how it's going to sit on my page either. I'm going to glue it all together. And once it's all glued down, I'm going to flip the page over and use it the other way. Because I, it just seemed that everything fit better going the other way. But at this point, I'm just kind of trying to find strips that are the same width. And that they can sit beside beside each other and I kind of figured that I would not use that wood grain paper I mean I am now on page this is page 19 out of 50 for the Facebook challenge it took me an hour and 18 minutes and it is the 15th 1-5 page for the Spencer's kit and I can I can see the end of this this um, kit I don't think don't think I'll I'll make it to 20 this time but there was only 16 pages so um, I have 17 done right now I have two more coming up and I'm kind of thinking I might get a couple more in but I don't know if I'll make it to 20 so at this point I'm feeling good with all the strips and you know how they look so I'm gonna start gluing them down and I just use my quick dry adhesive. It's just quick. Uh, the only thing is, is once you glue down quick dry adhesive, you cannot lift it up. Like it's down good and that's it. With ATG tape, you can kind of play with it and you know, keep lifting it and, but it is slower. So that's why I do like using the, um, quick dry adhesive because it's faster you can just glue it and just keep gluing down and moving it along so once and as you can tell I just take the strips and kind of make it hang off the edge and I just kind of make the pages or not the pages but the strips stop and go at all the different lengths on the page and once it's all glued down I just flip it over take my scissors and just cut off all the excess that is sticking out. And now I have a, pa a nice background paper with all the different papers that were in the kit. So when I was gluing it down, that hello was to the right, top right, and now when I flipped it, it's to the top left, but you can read it a whole lot better. Then you have the camera that are sitting, the row of camera that's sitting really nice. The alphabet in the blue sitting better. The arrows um, are now pointing towards the photo. Like everything just seemed to work better when I flipped the page over. I matted my photo with the, it's that blue bubble paper that came in this month's kit and then I matted it in the bigger yellow and I made a nice big border around it I took out one of the Amy Tangerine it came from the paper pad and it was all die cuts that you could cut apart and it says today so I just cut the part where it said today and then I just took papers from the kit the chevron paper and I put on either side of the yellow. I just cut it in half. And then there, I had this die cut that was a printable. And it says, you are my favorite, or you're my favorite. 
and I cut it in half and I put it on one side and then on the other. And this page is also in New York and we were walking through and I saw a huge sign of Subway. And this page has, the, the journaling I guess, is nothing to do with New York. It's about the fact that my kids, if I get, if we give them the option like, okay, where do you guys want to eat? It's always Subway. I mean, which is good because it's, it's a whole lot healthier than, you know, McDonald's or any other fast food place. It's, it's just funny to me that um, they'll choose a sub over, you know, hamburger and fries. And I have three kids and all three of them are like that, which is kind of funny. Now, me, on the other hand, I'd pick the hamburger, <laughs> but uh, I can only eat so many, so many subs. Um, I like them, but um, not that often. They could eat it every day. They, they like it so much. So that's what this page is about, is more about how much they love their Subway. So now I feel good with everything. So I'm going to start gluing everything down. I had cut a doily I put to the top right bottom left and then that turquoise was just a branding strip I cut it off one of the sheets and then I'm going to use it on this page and then there was a sticker that said good day from the basic gray I'm going to put put it on that page because to them you know if it's a subway day it's a good day and then that little banner was also from the sticker sheet and I'm going to stamp the date on that. And then what else did I take? A few tags that were from the digital prints. And then I'm going to put a little piece of doily at the top of the page too. And I had cut a tag in half. And I'm just gluing everything down. I did take out a few enamel dots in the yellow and I'm going to put it at every cluster. And I want to kind of mimic because the subway sign is the word sub is in white and the word way is in yellow. So I'm going to use those white thickers and then the yellow. Well, they're kind of greenish, but the the lighter one of them is is looks like yellow so I'm going to put that to the side right there and then in I didn't know I want to do it in black because it would have showed up a whole lot more but I didn't I didn't like the Y in that uh, black font so now I'm going to go through some more I'm looking for more little alphas and I'm going to pick the Kelly Perky white letter sticker and can't remember her YouTube name, but her name is Janet. And she asked if what I thought of the Kelly Perky letter stickers and I love them. You can be guaranteed that they're going to be part of my giveaway for the 1000 subscribers because I love them so much. So I'm going to try and get a few colors to add in the giveaway. And I especially love the white ones because you can you can color them whatever color you want. So I really like that. So you would just put them on either a wax paper or one of those Tim Holtz heat resistant sheets and you can emboss on it. And if you stick them onto that, you can change it whatever color you want. You can even emboss on them. And so with white, you could you can do quite a bit. So now I'm going to put some foam tape in behind that little flag banner where I'm going to put the date and I put some in behind the good day and I'm just going to do my journaling and again it just says it just talks about what I had said and I used one of Amy Tangerine's slick writer's for slick surfaces because those were printed on a slick paper so and it doesn't run I love those markers 
So that's it. If you want to see some still pictures, you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket, Studio Calico. In the Members Gallery, you can look for Nicole Jones 911. And you can see close-up pictures. So thanks for watching. Bye.